Ladies and gentlemen, The Rolling Stones is a concert movie featuring the British rock band The Rolling Stones that was first released in 1974. Directed by Roland Binzer and produced by Binzer and Marshall Chess, it was filmed in 16mm by Bob Fries and Steve Gapehart of Butterfly Films during four shows in Fort Worth, Texas. At the Tarrant County Convention Center in Houston, Texas, at the Hoffines Pavilion, from the band's 1972 North American tour in support of their 1972 album Exile on Main Street. The film was shot using 16mm film, but blown up to 35mm film with a wet gate process for theatrical release to make it look like it was shot. 35mm for the widescreen. The concerts were recorded in 32-track audio and the soundtrack was mixed in Twickenham Studios in England. In its initial US theatrical run it was released in Quadrasound which was a variation of the 4-track magnetic sound format. Instead of the usual right, center, left and single surround tracks, Quadrasound fed right and left screen speakers and right and left speakers. The objective of the quadraphonic sound recording was to transform the 650-seat motion picture theater auditorium into the auditory phenomenon of a 10,000-seat rock and roll arena. The film began before most audience members even realized it, a black screen and quadraphonic audience noise fooled theatergoers into accepting the recorded ambience as coming from their own venue. Intensifying the oral intimacy when the Stones began to play. The film was sold by the Rolling Stones as a tax-incentive-based venture capital investment. Nine investment groups competed to acquire the film and then the winning group formed Dragonair Limited, a one-film distribution company that was formed to four-wall the film throughout the United States. In accordance with the Rolling Stones' contractual requirements, Dragonair Limited proceeded to rent theaters on a four-wall basis for limited engagements in major markets, commencing at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York City on April 15, 1974, and sell tickets not only at the theater but also through concert ticket vendors such as Ticketron for the limited engagements. The objective here was to create a limited access single venue event that fans could access from any ticket seller in town. The quadraphonic presentation of ladies and gentlemen required a 44 JBL driver sound system. Each sound system was capable of generating 3,300 watts RMS and was transported to each venue in a 14 feet bed truck. Played at 100 deba in evening and midnight performances, the soundtrack had to be mixed by a sound engineer based on the number of people in the audience in order to achieve optimal clarity. Sound engineers accompanied the roadshow presentations. The film was played in limited roadshow engagements during which advertising was stopped because the word of mouth for the film increased attendance every day throughout the run. Limited engagements were conducted in New York, Boston, Philadelphia, Atlanta, Houston, Chicago, Miami, and Los Angeles before the picture was sold to Plit Theaters which released the film in a flat-screen monaural version. Prior to 2010, after initial showings in 1974 the movie was only commercially available in the early 1980s in Australia on VHS by Video Classics, of which bootleg copies had since been circulated. The Rolling Stones reclaimed the film from No Moss Partners, the original investment limited partnership in the late 1990s, and held off from re-releasing it until 2010. On September 16, 2010, a digital remastered version of Ladies and Gentlemen was shown in select theaters in the United States, presented by Omniverse Vision, Eagle Rock Entertainment and NCM Fathom. Remastered in HD Digital, the film also features an introduction by Mick Jagger, interviewed in summer 2010 at the London Dorchester Hotel. This segment features Jagger reflecting on memories of the tour during this legendary time, and the status of the Rolling Stones. This film was released at selected showcase cinemas in UK the following day, on Friday, September 17, 2010. On October 12, 2010, it was issued on DVD and Blu-ray. Supplements to the concert footage includes tour rehearsal footage from the Montreux Jazz Festival, a 1972 Old Grey Whistle Test interview with Mick Jagger, and a 2010 interview with Jagger. During the performance, styrofoam frisbee-like discs with the stone's tongue emblem were thrown out into the audience to add to the excitement and enhance the realism as if you were actually attending the concert. The Blu-ray release has three choices of soundtrack, Dolby Digital 5. 1. DTS HD Master Audio 5. 1. An LPCM Stereo, with at least one reviewer genuinely preferring the LPCM 2. 0. Option. The tracks in the film follow the running order of a typical set list of the 1972 tour, with no original dating earlier than 1968. 
Dead Flowers was played at one of the film shows in Fort Worth but not elsewhere on the tour while Rox Off was absent from the film despite being a constant of the tour set list, in an interview included in the DVD release. Jagger said this was due to being out of tune. Additional musicians in 2017 Ladies and Gentlemen was released as a standalone CD, on Eagle Records. Thanks for watching.